Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. How long does this uh, little blanket continue? I'd say till 4 or 5 in the morning, yeah. but it's cold tomorrow, so it'll all stick and then mm -hmm. melt on Friday and especially Saturday. So it's a roller coaster ride here going into the weekend. We'll take a look right now at Burlington. That is Church Street zoomed out. The bright lights actually pointing to the steeple, but if you look right down the middle, you can see a very snow covered Church Street. Looks great with all the lights on either side. It's certainly cold at 26. We'll go down a little bit more, but with the clouds and the snow overhead, it's not a free fall tonight, but certainly slippery all the way into tomorrow morning, even probably the morning commute just because this is, you know, ongoing till about 4 or 5 a.m. and it will be cold tomorrow, so it's not like we're spiking temperature wise to clear this out until Friday, really Friday and especially Saturday. Look at the numbers right now. 27 in Rutland, 28 in Bennington, a 20 in Newport, 14 right now in Montreal with a little bit of light snow falling. So here's future cast. I think eight o'clock in the morning. There's just a few lingering snow showers, mostly northern New York, northern Vermont, but there is definitely sunny breaks tomorrow and enjoy those while they last because by Friday, the clouds are back. I think even pre dawn hours on Friday, another little band of snow. It won't be much, but the timing of it could be just enough to screw up the morning commute on Friday. And then during the day, it's dry, but the clouds stay put in temperatures. We'll be up near 40, so the snow early Friday will definitely not last with the warmer weather ahead. And then look what happens Saturday morning. I think there's basically two rounds of rain. There's one here with the initial push of warmer air. It pours for a couple of hours, even in the mountains Saturday morning. Then about lunchtime, there's a little bit of a lull, kind of how these storms go. A little shower left over at 1 o'clock, and then the back edge of that system would be later on Saturday with more rain, but certainly a lot of wind. I think the gust could be 40 or 50 miles an hour later on Saturday. So with the saturated ground and the gusts near 50, there could be some power outages late Saturday night. Even Sunday, while not as windy, it will still be gusty. So Sunday is the pick of the weekend without a doubt, but the sunshine will be accompanied by strong wind on Sunday. There's the temperature trend all the way up into the 50s on Saturday. It's a little cooler Sunday and beyond, but definitely not anything close to where we should be this time of year. We've got some really mild weather coming up. So this is one of the coldest nights in the whole 10 day forecast. Teens and 20s impact weather with the slippery travel. And we don't even get to freezing in the Champlain Valley tomorrow. 26 in Jericho. Newport at 23, again, a couple of breaks of sun, but not many. 22 in Saranac Lake, and for Southern Vermont, we're talking about uh, 30 in parts of Bennington County as we go through the afternoon. So the five-day forecast shows that we're mostly dry through Thursday and Friday, just that little band of snow early on Friday to watch out for. And then Friday into Saturday is when the rain really comes in. Rainy is Saturday early, and then Saturday late in the evening. Those are the two rounds with the wind and then here are the warmer temperatures 40 to 50 degrees basically Sunday through the end of next week. It'll be a long stretch. Brian Alice. All right, Tyler. Thanks. If you're looking for a Christmas tree with a real